Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time. Welcome to a new episode. Today I want to show you how to, firstly, retrieve the GPS coordinates from a photograph that you have taken, for example, with a drone or with a basic camera that has a GPS module installed. It really doesn't matter. And then secondly, once you have these weird looking, cryptic looking codes, how to convert them into a normal, let's say, address. Let's get this episode started. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe in order to never again miss any of my upcoming episodes. And if you like my shirt and if you like my style, then check out tomstechtime.com. There's an amazing drone blog. You can buy drone pilots apparel. It is so cool. There's so much stuff, free downloads and so much more. I could talk about it for half an hour, but I don't want to do that. Let's get this video started. At first, locate the original photo file. Because once you upload a photograph, let's say to Facebook, and then you download it again, then usually the information is gone. There is going to be no GPS coordinates saved anymore. So always keep a copy. Here, in this case, we're going to take a look at this photograph. I want to figure out where I took it. What I do is I right click. Next, I click on Get Info. And once the info field pops up, I check the More Info tab. And down here, I find both the latitude and right below the longitude. Now, if you're a pilot or Sherlock Holmes himself, then you don't need anyone to explain anything any further. But let's just try to find out where that actually is on the globe. Let's just try to find the closest address, maybe for our navigation system. Go ahead by copying the latitude, right click, copy. Now you open up a browser and you go to Google Maps. And inside the search bar, you now paste this first code. Make sure to change all commas to dots. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Now you go back to the photograph and you copy the longitude. Again, right click, copy. You now head back to Google Maps and paste that as well. And again, you're going to change all commas to dots. What happens if I press enter now? It takes us to the location where the photograph was recorded very precisely. And now I can zoom in or I could zoom out and just locate the closest street. In this case, maybe here, the Derech Ben Gurion. And then I could put that into my navigation system. And that is that. Now a short word solely for drone pilots. You can go ahead and just tap somewhere here where the photo was located. And down here at the bottom, you get these two coordinate codes. And you can copy and you can paste them onto my drone flyers world map. You can find that on tomstechtime.com slash map. And on that map, I want pilots to go ahead and mark the best locations internationally for flying drones in all countries. This project is pretty new. That's why there are not that many marks at the moment. But I want to show you briefly how this is supposed to look like. Let's just, for example, go closer to Israel. And then I could now tap at this mark. And you see a test photo, you have a description here of that place. And if I zoom in further, then I can get the exact coordinates of this location. So it would be awesome if you guys just went on tomstechtime.com slash map. And if you started to add your favorite drone flying locations, because that can be so helpful when traveling, when you don't know a place and you then just can take a look on the map and locate awesome places for flying drones. Thank you for watching this episode of mine. I hope it was helpful to you. At least for me, it solved a few problems because I was looking at this photograph of mine and I asked myself, how can I get to that location? Because I unfortunately had forgotten where that location was. And well, I finally found out and I can head out there again the next time that I'm in Israel and I can maybe take some more cool photographs or videos. We'll see. Now, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe in order to never again miss any of my upcoming episodes again. And of course, don't forget to check out tomstechtime.com for drone pilots apparel, for free downloads, for the drone blog and so much more. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash tomstechtime. Creative, I know.